Hey guys, welcome back. So it's been a while since I've done like a how-to video. Usually I'm out in the woods hunting animals and eating animals. But today I'm going to share something with you guys that I've used in the past. And I like to have it on me just in case of an emergency or whatever. It's a survival stove. Very, very cheap. Very easy to make. Anyone can kind of do this. And it's a great way to get some heat indoors or outdoors. Indoors, you just got to use it in a ventilated area and be very safe with it. In case you're in an emergency or whatever, it's a great stove to use. I've used it in the Mealy Mountains in some cold weather before inside the canvas tent just to warm my hands up and get like that chill out of you before heading to bed. Let me show you what you need. A small paint can, rubbing alcohol, I prefer 70%, and a single roll of toilet paper. Let me show you how it's done. First thing you're going to do is grab your toilet paper and pull out the uh, cardboard roll in the middle of it. That's the hardest part of this whole thing. There we go. Take your paint can and stuff the toilet paper roll inside. This one's way too big for the can. It's not getting in there. So I'm going to have to remove some. Now that it's a little smaller, I can bunch it up enough. I can get it inside the paint can. There. Fits nicely right inside there like that. Next step, grab your uh, rubbing alcohol. Fight to get that stupid film off of it. And you're basically going to keep doing it until the alcohol doesn't absorb anymore. But not so it's pooled on top. See it's slowing down now but it's still absorbing. That should be pretty good. Now that it's saturated with alcohol, you'll see it doesn't spill or anything because it's all absorbed into the Toilet paper. So essentially the toilet paper is going to work like a wick. This will light up and a nice blue flame will come up. You got to be very careful if you're using this inside for the simple fact that it's not easy to see the flame in bright weather like this. But it's there and it will generate a nice bit of heat too. I suppose you should be careful outdoors too. You don't want to cause a forest fire or something. So let's put a spark to this now and get it going. That's it. There is a flame. I don't know if the flame is showing up on camera maybe a little bit but here's a I got a little bit of a I got a stick here with a little bit of old man's beard on it you'll see quickly burns away as you notice you got a nice flame coming off it but the toilet paper is not burning that's because it's just literally acting like a wick and that alcohol is rising up from the inside evaporating and combusting once you're done with it you know warm your hands up or whatever you need to do or uh, getting a little bit of water boiled up take your lid lay it on top that crusty layer grab a little bit of snow put it in there and we're gonna get that going now here's another thing you can do carry a couple screws with you or bolts or something like that just lay across just so the air can uh, get around it and put your pot on top now alcohol is not the hottest burning fuel but it will work and it will boil water but it will take a little longer obviously than most fuels but there, lay a screw across there, one across there, and then we'll put our pot on top. Oh, might as well throw a tea bag in there. All right. There, as you can see, brought it to a little simmer. I don't need to bring it to a rapid boil. It's only a cup of tea. Knock those off, let those cool down, and throw on the cat. That's it. The outsides are still cold. Perfect little emergency stove for, you know, boiling a little bit of water, warming up, whatever you need it for. Great for camping or just having an emergency shelter or, or whatever you want to use it for. The can, I got brand new, but you can get old ones. Just make sure all the paint and everything's out of it, obviously. But I got the uh, the paint can at the paint store. I paid three bucks for it. Uh, Toilet paper, dollar store for a dollar. I think the most expensive part was the rubbing alcohol, which I paid four dollars for at the dollar store. So less than ten dollars, you can put one of these together, and uh, and then you can just top it up with alcohol as you need it. As you can see, as you can see, toilet paper's fine. Had a cup of tea, some Caitlin. God is good. Thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little how-to video and some of you guys utilize this. Keep in mind, it's not the best stove for cooking. 
and it would have boiled the water a lot faster if I would have had it up a little higher if I hung it off something than having it so close. It doesn't allow the flame to fully combust hot enough, having it low on the screws. If it was hung up just a little bit over it, it would have been better, but nonetheless got the job done. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless. Bye. Oh, it's still recording.